Wanna fly for a bit? Not really. I wasn't sure I'd recognize you. I get it? Yeah. Is your father there? Yes. You sure it's really him? The real man, not just an idea of him? It's him. Tell him. Tell him why you came back. Dad? I forgive you. Pops, tell Jen's dad she's here. Hey, you need a head? No, I'm good. Linda, do you remember me? I'm your sister, Denabelle. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. You look different. I miss you. Well, it's not like we've been hiding. How are you, Neil? Busy. Pretty much run things around here now. It's 
good to see you. Well, I was starting to think you were never going to come back. Mm. So is Dad in a lot of pain? Well, I don't think he feels anything, except maybe thirsty. <laughs> He's always been thirsty. Ah, for Christ's sake. Pilot boy just dumps them here. There's a storm coming, and he just leaves them outside. Hey, Andre! Supplies, front dock! Place would fall apart without me here. Fall apart. I can help with us. Ah, don't be stupid. You got your own bag to carry, sister. You coming? She'll follow. Come with you Feels different. <laughs> you find your own way up. Same room. I want to see him. You want to come? You don't have to do that. daughter returned at long last Bruce pick you up on time he did how long are you gonna be here for uh, what would the doctors say first the only doctor up here one's plenty you're right about that one son Neil, I need to talk to your sister. Why don't you check on our guests? Disappointed I'm not lying in bed, rolling around in pain? Is that why you're here? To see the death rattle? I'm here because you told me you were dying. Well, I do appreciate that. It's a big ticket. Dad, there's something I've been wanting to say to you. Don't. No. I need to. It's not necessary. I forgive you. What? You're here now. That's all that matters. <gasps> I need a nap. Are you serious? You know how many years it's been? Yes, okay, okay. We can talk about it later. I need some sleep.
Hello, Andre. How are you doing? You should be aware that dinner for guests is promptly at 7 o'clock. Well, I'd like to think I'm more than just a guest. No. You're now just a guest. Louisa, all right? Is that mom's record player? Looks the same. <laughs> mm. I like it the same. Thank you for bringing my bag up. You are going to stay home now. I can't live here anymore. Are you happy here? It's boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do you still like to swim? Because I remember somebody was a very good swimmer. <laughs> the water's too cold now. I guess summer is over, huh? God bless! <laughs> <laughs> they still do that. grown up now. I didn't know the ladies ventured this far, Nora. <laughs> well, lost from the flock, Randy. Be good, boys. Oh, hey, welcome home. Thank you. Now, you probably don't remember us. Joe Benali, this is Randall Peters. I think I do remember. It's nice to see you both again. Yeah. You know, you used to be the one who would serve the drinks up on nights like these. Do you remember that? She's, uh... I gathered. Still looks beautiful, though. <clears throat> Jenna Bell. Jennabel Elizabeth Heath. As the holy Jesus Christ is my witness, I never thought we'd see you in these parts again. Pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Morrison, it's good to see you. Uh, Bert, you can call me Bert now. Doctor, are you drinking this evening? Given the circumstances, I think I will. To the hive. To family. 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 Mm. <clears throat> It's a bit rocky. You just need more honey, is all, Andre. Thank you. You know what we're missing? What was that song you, your mother taught you? That lovely song you always used to play? The a Gold Rush Serenade. Yeah, I hated that song. Play it. I just said I hated it. It was a gift mother gave you. A gift to be shared. Come on. Okay. Okay. Ah, hold it. Hey, hey. I'm probably going to mess this up.
Keep playing. To me, you're as good as gold. Beyond our wildest wishes are the words that we so beautifully. Uh, thank you, but I'm Jennifer. Natalie was my mom, remember? They told me you killed yourself. But I'm, I'm Jennifer. But if you're dead, how can you have a little girl? Is Linda your little girl? Do something, for Christ's sake. Bruce, help your mother. Ma, Ma why don't you sit down? Jesus, Jenny. You sure know how to stir things up. Um, Andre, can I have something else to drink? No. You most certainly cannot. This is what we serve at the Hive. This is it! Nothing else! Dad, why don't you just sit? Cowardly. Caring son, a vengeful daughter, even a wonderful little angel. You know, Marv, there's a time for being an asshole, and there's a time for drinking your drink and shutting your mouth. And you're old enough to know the difference. Come on, I'll burn. Burn. I only have so much asshole left. It's a precious commodity. See, gentlemen, my wife, she abandoned me in this life. And when did she leave me besides this beautiful island? The honey, the family honey. Sweetness from a million tiny flowers, a thousand busy workers down our thirsty throats and into our blood. We are not just time went on. We are metabolizing our home. Don't you think you've metabolized enough one day, Dad? I never raised her to be rude, so there must be something to this environmental influence we hear so much about. You didn't raise me at all. You shipped me off to I England. I say what I mean. I only say what's true. All right. Well, then why don't you tell everyone why Mom killed herself? Say what's true about that.
Put the suit on. No way. Put it on. I don't want you getting stung. No, I'm not going near those things. I'm asking you as nicely as I am capable of, please put on the damn suit. Honey is the only part of the business that still makes a profit. Oh, no, that bad, huh? Oh. Seems like hunting for one's food has gone out of style. Jenny, grab the veil. Those are what we affectionately call our ruby red. We had a bad batch for mint on this last year. I mean, it really went sideways. It's poisonous as hell. A spoonful will make you sick, fever, hallucinations. Half a cup probably kill you. Why keep it? Are you kidding? You know what it takes to make a batch of honey? It's a whole lifetime for a bee. You don't just take it away from them and destroy it. <laughs> Really? I use it to kill squirrels and raccoons and such. Mm -hmm. All the creatures, they want my wonderful honey. What are we doing, Dad? We received a generous offer to buy the hive, the entire parcel. We've received offers before. You're never going to sell this place. You think you know everything. I always have. Woo! Woo! Time to breach the fiery gates of hell. Time to set everyone free! I don't think Neil really wants to be set free. Neil! Neil isn't fully formed. The boy needs rescuing, and I'm going to do just that. Put on the mask. What about you? I am going to be just fine. What are you doing? I need you to promise me something. Stop it, Dad. Open the gate. I need you to accept the offer and sell this place. No. Promise me, Jenny. You sell it. Promise me! To. Get out of there! I'm sorry, Jenny. Okay. You're acting insane. Dad. <laughs> <laughs>
the bastard finally imploded. Jeez. Did you see him, Bert? Yeah, yeah. Just, just don't understand. Well, Dad was never gonna die in bed. He always said he'd kill himself first. <clears throat> I'm gonna need some help with the body. Should I ask Andre? Uh... No, I'll do it. What are you gonna do with him? We'll put him in the gun shed for now. It's where we keep that animals. was mad, always mad. I know. Not anymore. Linda, things are going to be different now. And that means that some things might have to change. Can you be a brave girl? Can you let things change? Yes. Play near the highs. I didn't mean to, mommy. I'm sorry. Sorry, it changes nothing. Why did you do it, mom? Did you get her down okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. Are you? I really don't know. I 
came as soon as I could. I am so sorry, Jenny. I... Did you see fireworks tonight? Yeah. Yeah, those idiots. I dropped them off yesterday upriver for a photo safari. I guess nature wasn't photogenic enough. Hey, have a seat. Louisa was my mother. <sighs> my aunt made me see a therapist for a little while. I was having what she called waking dreams. So what you had tonight? Well, you've always been the well-adjusted one in your family. I never got the chance to forgive him. <sighs> I, I should get some sleep. At least try to. Thank you for listening. I'm fine. Start with this. Mm. It smells delicious. So I was thinking we could spend the day together. You know, maybe once the weather clears, take a flight up river. Bruce, I have to deal with things here. I need to go back home. Yeah. All right. We can check the weather after. Thank you. Well, I am not an estate lawyer, but your father changed his will a couple of weeks ago, and uh, timing makes sense now. And uh, he asked me to execute, and so now that Jen is here, it seems like as good a time as any. So. I will execute. Now, uh, I'm not going to read this legal mumbo jumbo. The gist of it is that the two of you split everything, the business, the land, the assets, and also the uh, debts. What debts? Uh, I don't know, Neil, but I understand there are some debts. Well, I know you don't have any interest in this place, so find a way to buy you out, okay? Neil, the terms of the split are 51-49. Yeah, 51 to Jennifer. So what that means is the two of you own everything, but Jennifer has a controlling interest, and uh, any major decisions are ultimately hers to make. Your father wanted you to be in charge so that you could um, fulfill verbal promises, says here. Don't know what that means. Don't wait a goddamn minute. Neil. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Neil, but that's... I'm the one that's been here this whole time. I'm the one that's run this place. We, we know that, son. Uh, but unfortunately, your father's wishes are very clear. He wants Jennifer in charge, legally at least. And 
I'm afraid that's really all there is to say, unless you have any questions. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> I mean, since I'm an orphan and all, Please, eh? may I have some more? Please, eh? may I have some more? Please, eh? may I have some goddamn more? Unfair. He should have just sold the place. Well, he couldn't. When your mother died, she gave the place to him in trust only. Her will stipulated uh, he wasn't allowed to sell it, only to pass it on to the children. And now he's dead, so it can be sold by me. <laughs> well, Jennifer, uh, your mother. Um, I, I should make sure Neil's OK. Thank you for handling this. Right. Right. Neil! I, I just got a bit lost in the woods. I'm fine. Here, put this on. You must be freezing. Thank you. I said thank you. Yeah. It's just terrible. We don't understand how could anybody. I mean, this probably isn't a good time, but we do need to talk to you about some business that we have with your dad. You are the buyers? We have a deal that's pretty much closed, yes.
So, finger part is pretty easy. So give me this hand. And we go one, and then two, three, just like that. Keep doing that. what grieving sounds like. childish of me taking off like that. Be nice if you'd remember that I haven't done anything wrong. Peter and Benali, they want to buy this place, don't they? Yeah. They, um, made Dad an offer. Well, they're snakes. Why don't we talk to them together? There's nothing to talk about. Neil. Neil. Before he died, Dad made me promise him something. He made me swear I would sell the lot. I don't believe you. This could be a new beginning for everyone. That's what he wanted. We'll figure it out. Well, let's talk about what you guys want with this place. I mean, do you guys even know how to run an operation like this? No. Of course you don't. Well, we're not going to be running it. Neil, the one thing that we really admired about your dad was that he spoke plain, right? I mean, he didn't always have to like what he said, but, but you know, he meant it when he said it. I know what kind of man my father was. OK. We have been very upfront about what our intentions are right from the get-go. We don't want the hive. We don't want to be in the hunting and fishing business. This is beautiful territory. But most of it's protected land. Now, you guys have 35 acres. OK, we don't want to develop it. High-end cottage properties. We want to do 10. What we're buying and selling is acreage on the kind of remote waterside spread that's I mean, it's kind of rare these days. We want to build homes where we can put families in for the whole summer. You guys be making a lot of people very happy. Oh. <laughs> so what, you're just going to tear this place down? Your dad knew our plans. I don't believe it. Not one word of it. This is not our dad. This is not our dad. Here, Jen. There. All right. This is uh, all of the correspondence. Contract drafts, sales offers, counter offers, everything is right there. And your dad even did his own markup and ballpoint pen. So. He was pretty shrewd. I'd say he went head to head with our lawyers and he pissed them off plenty. It's a generous offer. He made sure of it. Neil, calm down. <sighs> screw you and screw you. This is my land, our land. And I'm not selling. I'm not selling. I'm going to need some time to look this over.
Ladies and gentlemen, for you. Well, you found me. Neil told me about those uh, fellas and their offer. Hmm? Neil is upset. Yeah, well, you wouldn't actually do that to us. That's what my dad wanted. He made me promise that I would sell this place. Let me tell you something. This land has remained pristine since our family set stake. Your family and mine have been here a long, Don't long time. Don't you understand? The man killed himself so everyone here could finally move on with their lives. He was a sick man. Yeah. But what about your mother's wishes? She was never happy here. She never trusted you, you him. You were young. You didn't understand what he went through. Your mother was not well for a long, long time, but she did love this place. She loved it deeply. Listen, I've been up all night long reviewing everything I could find. And what we've inherited is a lot of debt. This is a good offer. Yeah. Well, Neil has some ideas. Come on. Well, at least hear him out. We can't afford Neil's ideas. I have no intention of going anywhere. Jennifer, I'm not going to let you do this. Not to your family and not to me. I'm sorry. I think I don't know what you're doing. Now you see me. Now. First you're one thing, then you're another. First you're behind me, and then you're in front of me. I 
I don't understand. You do. You do because you made it all. You made it all because it fits you. But it doesn't fit me. It digs in. And it cuts. You're not making any sense. You're not making sense. You're not making any sense. You should die. I'll make sure you stay right here. And hell. They're gone. Who? Your friends. Oh, sorry, your business associates. Well, maybe they're coming back. What are you doing with that? everything they got, they're planning on coming back. Them. Any of them. So, when did your mom start to get sick? About four years ago. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's hard to see her like that. Sometimes she's with us, back to herself. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you something? As long as it's emotionally disturbing, I wouldn't want to change gears too quickly. I'm just curious. Uh, how came you never called the road all those years? He's kind of disappeared, you know? Because you were here. Because talking to you would bring me back here, and I wasn't ready for that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. 
No, I understand. I was just curious as all. Sorry. Not the best time to bring it up, I guess. It's not you. It's something is happening to me. You're falling for me again. <laughs> I don't know what... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jenny, you've been through hell. I think they might be poisoning me. What? I know it sounds crazy. Who? Can you take me away from here in the morning? I just... I need to get out of here. No, I can't. Why not? There's a hell of a storm coming in. I mean, we can't fly in it. I could take you when it's safe. I promise. I'm here. It's me. I'm here for you, okay? She's happy. I was wondering where you disappeared to. So, this is it, the big typhoon. So I heard about the will and the offer. I was gonna tell you. It's not my business. Well, it does affect you and your parents. That's okay. Want some coffee? Bruce. Jennibel, do you want some coffee or not? Yes, and I'm freezing. Can you get it for me? Please, I'm cold. What about breakfast? I'll finish it for you. Bruce, please, it's the only one I have. All right. All right, just... Don't let it burn. Yeah. 
Linda! Linda, here. Come. No! We have to stay! Linda, you're coming with me. I don't want to. This is where I live. This is our home! We stay! Okay, okay, Linda! 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 Listen to me, okay? They want to hurt us. We can't go! Linda, if you don't come with me right now, you're never gonna see me again. Ever. Do you understand that? now where are you going we just we just need to leave for a few days i'm gonna bring her back what i have to go neil you know you're acting awfully strange janabelle i just need to get out of here for a while liar you know you just like Dad, you're a liar! You always think I'm so goddamn stupid! Look what you did! <laughs> Don't you understand, Jennifer? I can't just let you leave. It's okay, honey. Just go with me. No, 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 no. Ow! No! Ow! It's all right, Jennifer. You're gonna be okay. Linda! Just relax. Where is she? Just calm Tell down. me what happened shh, to her. Shh, shh. It's gonna be fine. Just relax. Okay. Linda's not with us. No. no. I don't believe you! Jenny, she's gone. You're lying! Jenny, 
stops all right. What are you doing? What are you saying to me? Hold on, for Christ's sake. Just breathe. Breathe deeply. You're going to be fine. You're going to be all right. You'll be surprised what a little rest can do. It's going to be okay. So sorry. sound. Well, that's what they said. <laughs> but I think you sound just fine. We're going to take care of things here now. You don't have to do anything ever again. Just get well. I told you. She was crazy. She killed the dog. I knew it wasn't true. I'm really sorry. I know you are. You were just scared. Linda, what are we gonna do? Yeah, you're right. You. See what a little rest can do for you? It's hard to believe what was happening to me. Well, what I thought was happening to me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you uh, aren't living in your mother's time, Jennifer. These things can be controlled with medication and proper diet and rest. It's a quiet life up here, but. Uh, <clears throat> that may be exactly what you need. You know, when I woke up, I actually believed that you were telling me that Linda was dead. <laughs> by the hive and she had an allergic reaction. <clears throat> it 
This was before your mother did what she did. Do you remember? Hi. <coughs> hey, Joel. The things are going to be different now. What are you doing with that? OK, do you have your seatbelt on? I'm acting so crazy. <laughs> I forgive you. <clears throat> I am getting better, though. I can tell. for a little rest can do. I'm glad you came back. It was time. I couldn't have done it without you. 